Now, the next item to pay attention to is this gray menu up here, guys. See by the HP symbol? Here we have some important features. Oh, by the way, I should tell you guys, I'm only going to cover here the basics and most essential things that you guys need to know. There are a lot of bells and whistles with this application. So you guys can explore those on your own, but I'll just get you guys started, you know, get you guys going on your feet and running so that you can start practicing on your own so that you're not hindered by the fact that you're too scared to start anyways so we got the file menu here here you can do things such as you know create new tests solutions function libraries and so on you can open existing solutions tests, business components and so on you can save you can set settings for a test and so on up here here's the edit menu you can do the typical edit features then we got the different views this is very useful and i've seen many people underutilize it in not only qtp but uft as well so one of my favorite places is this debug window where i can access all of these options and i'll show you guys that as we open up our first script then we have a search window to be able to utilize some of these features a design window that allows us to create a test and some other menu items that we'll go over as we open up a test now another thing i want to show you guys down here is this debug pane as you guys can see there are a few tabs here and if i go to my view debug i can add more panes over here so there's an errors list that's going to show you the errors in your script there's an output pane that will show you the output coming out from your script this is where the printing statements go there's an active screen that can do screen capture and then there's a data tab that will contain your data how i'm making these float is over here on the right see this little thing you can click it and it will stay or you can click it and it will float just like that I apologize, I deceived you guys. That was the pin. I'm going to click the float. Here's how we move windows around. You guys see, I picked up this window, and if you want to change its direction, you just drag it. So if I want to put it here, I can put it there. See that if I put bring it over here on this up arrow, it'll go there. This will take it there, and this will take it down here. And that's what I want. And then I'm going to unpin it, and then I'm going to unpin this one. And now they're all back down there. So that's how you do that. So let's discuss a solution.